health is the most valuable thing we have in life but we tend to forget that until we lose it we reliving longer than ever before which is great but an unforeseen consequence of this is that we also spend a larger and larger portion of our lives being sick getting old currently means spending more time in pain so scientists are trying to shift the attention of the medical community from optimizing lifespans to optimizing health spans the part of our lives during which we read disease free to do this we need to attack the root cause of almost all bodily defects aging itself unbeknown to most people the science of aging has made enormous progress in the last few years with human trials about to begin in the near future let's look at three examples of discoveries that might benefit people who are alive right now one senescent cells your cells have an expiration date each time one of your cells divides it copies its chromosomes because of the way this works they lose a tiny bit of na at the ends this could be catastrophic so to protect themselves we have long segments of now called telomeres that sort of act like the stiff bits at the end of shoelaces but they shrink with every cell division in some cells after a number of divisions the telomeres are gone and the cell becomes a zombie a senescent cell senescent cells stay around and don't to die the older you get the more of them there were inside you they harm tissue around them and are linked to many diseases that accompany old age like diabetes and kidney failure but what if you could kill them off scientists genetically engineered mice so that they could destroy their senescent cells as they pleased older mice without senescent cells were more active their hearts and kidneys worked better and they were less prone to cancer overall they lived up to thirty longer and in better health than average mice since we can to genetically engineer all of the cells in the human body we need to find another way to get rid of our senescent cells but how do we kill them without harming healthy cells most cells in the body commit a programmed cell suicide when they redamaged but senescent cells don't it turns out that they underproduce a protein that tells them when it's time to do so in a late 2016 study mice were given an injection of this protein it killed 80 of all their senescent cells while causing almost no harm to healthy cells 
the treated mice became generally healthier and even regrew lost hair as a result there were a number of new companies looking at treatments involving senescent cells and the first human trials will start soon two nad cells are made from hundreds of millions of parts they read the structures machines messages and the catalysts that make reactions happen all these parts constantly need to be destroyed cleaned up and rebuilt as we age this process becomes less effective and so parts become crumpled bunched up or error removed slower or they are no longer produced in the quantities we need one of these parts is nad a coenzyme that tells our cells to look after themselves at age fifty we only have about half as much in our bodies as we do at age twenty low amounts of it are linked to a whole bunch of diseases from skin cancer to all shimmers, cardiovascular disease and multiple sclerosis but nad can't enter cells so we can't get it as a pill but scientists notice that other more flexible substances could enter cells and would then turn into NAD in sight. In 2016, multiple trials on mice showed that they boosted the multiplication of muskin, brain, and muscle stem cells. They were rejuvenated, had a higher ability to repair their DNA, and had a slightly increased lifespan. This even got NASA interested, which is looking for a way to minimize that DNA damage. Astronauts would be exposed to from cosmic radiation on Mars missions. There are human trials being planned right now. But it's too soon to say if this will boost our health span or even lifespan. But NAD is a serious candidate and could become the first human anti-aging pill. Stem cells are like cell blueprints that sit at various places in the body and copy themselves to produce a steady flow of fresh young cells but they decline as we age and so we decline too without new parts human bodies break in mice scientists observed that as the stem cells in their brains disappeared they started to develop diseases so they took stem cells from baby mice brains and injected them directly into the brains of middle-aged mice more specifically the hypothalamus a part that's involved in regulating a lot of bodily functions the fresh stem cells reinvigorated older brain cells by secreting macronus that regulated their metabolism after four months brain and muscles worked better than those of untreated mice and on average they lived ten longer another study took stem cells from mice embryos and injected them directly into the hearts of older mice as a consequence they had improved heart function could exercise twenty longer and weirdly enough their hair regrew faster what all of this tells us is that there is not a single magic bullet with which to cure aging it requires a complex array of different therapies. We can kill off senescent cells to clear away the junk, give ourselves fresh new stem cells to fill the gap, all while regulating the metabolism of the other cells using medication. This video comes with a big caveat. After all, these studies have been carried out on mice. There's no guarantee the same therapies would work in us to the same extent but they are a proof of concepts. To learn more about how we can modify our own health span, we need human trials. We've only covered Otany part of the research that's being done right now, and only scratched the surface of these ideas. The field of health span extension needs more attention and funding. If it gets it, all of us might enjoy growing old without pain. Might enjoy growing old with well, but I get away. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
parole. If you now want to support the research on aging directly, you can do so at Lifespanio, a community of people actively supporting the scientists working to cure aging. Working Check them out to learn about the latest advances and visit their blog or group on Facebook. The Lifespan team also kindly supported the creation of this video with a donation and their expertise. If you want to help us make more of our videos, you can do so on Patreon.com.